Streams in the Desert. Volume 1. By Elizabeth Kalman. June 19. Bread corn is bruised, Isaiah. 2828. Many of us cannot be used to become food for the world's hunger until we are broken in Christ's hands. Bread corn is bruised. Christ's blessing oft times means sorrow, but even sorrow is not too great a price to pay for the privilege of touching other lives with benediction. The sweetest things in this world today have come to us through tears and pain. J. R. Miller God has made me bread for his elect and if it be needful that the bread must be ground in the teeth of the lion to feed his children, blessed be the name of the Lord. Ignatius We must bum out before we can give out. We cease to bless when we cease to bleed. Poverty, hardship and misfortune have pressed many a life to moral heroism and spiritual greatness. Difficulty challenges energy and perseverance. It calls into activity the strongest qualities of the soul. It was the weights on father's old clock that kept it going. Many a headwind has been utilized to make port God has appointed opposition as an incentive to faith and holy activity. The most illustrious characters of the Bible were bruised and threshed and ground into bread for the hungry. Abraham's diploma styles him as the father of the faithful. That was because he stood at the head of his class in affliction and obedience. Jacob suffered severe threshings and grindings. Joseph was bruised and beaten and had to go through Potiphar's kitchen and Egypt's prison to get to his throne. David, hunted like a partridge on the mountain, bruised, weary and footsore, was ground into bread for a kingdom. Paul never could have been bread for Caesar's household if he had not endured the bruising, whippings and stonings. He was ground into fine flour for the royal family. Like combat like victory. If for you he has appointed special trials, be assured that in his heart he has kept for you a special place. A soul sorely bruised is a soul elect.